I call the member for Bowman. Deputy Speaker, it's, uh, um, I never um, intend to uh, ascribe to um, incompetence what can be perfectly explained by a lack of attention to detail. And as I speak about the green loans uh, that's barely been able to uh, uh, be brought to this chamber by virtue of the uh, culture of incompetence that's been witnessed from the Environment uh, Department over the last month, I just speak on behalf of the now four to five thousand Australian sole operators, small business people, uh, working Australians and single Australians who have come back from overseas to participate in the Green Loan Scheme. I appeal to this minister and to the Prime Minister and to this administration to have some compassion for the plight of our green assessors. Look, it was also shiny and attractive and seductive in 2007 when a then smiling Prime Minister Rudd promised 200,000 interest-free green loans around the country. And of course, it was rolled out in that first year with very few suspicions of the impending train wreck that was only a year away. And the first warnings that we would have a glut of assessors was when our DIWA, D divisional head, decided to completely deregulate training. And somewhere within that department, a decision has been made to allow not 1,500, as was promised in Senate estimates in 2008, but an order of magnitude more, 11,000 assessors now fighting, queuing and hoping for a career under this collapse scheme. Look, we know about the Albanian pyramid scheme, but uh, I say to those on the other side, this is a tragedy of monumental pro proportions orchestrated purely by the Rudd administration. What we have in the rescue job that was Minister Garrett's action to suspend the green assessments last week is a capping of assessors to 5,000, with four to 5,000 of them thrown on the scrap heap, praying that, like the insulation equivalent, they will be given some structural readjustment package. And this Stalinistic, centrist Rudd government that doesn't understand how much damage is wrought when you do this to Australian working families, I wonder what they are planning to do next week when, for the first time, assessors will be speaking out. Now, Deputy Speaker, one places faith in a sovereign state that when they promise a three- to four-year program, it won't collapse in 12 months. And you hope that when you promise 200,000 interest-free green loans, it won't grind out at 1,500 and then be suspended. And you hope that when you're told that you can, as an assessor, hope for an income based on doing 10 or 20 assessments per week, it isn't changed to three. Full-time assessors now are looking at being part-time workers under employment of massive proportions. And at the same time, what we saw in the last week as a minister tried harder to defend his own job than the jobs of assessors or even his efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which this is all about, what we saw was a complete wipeout of green loans altogether. Now, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of households waiting on those assessment reports that never came from his department. They have no hope of applying for a green loan. And we have states in this country that had state-funded programs doing just the same thing. And then when this federal scheme was rolled out over the top, the only additional benefit of getting a federal home assessment was some behavioural modification and the chance at an interest-free green loan. That has all been ripped away. And I just want to appeal to the minister, because I know he is a person of integrity, to just answer some questions for the Australian people. Because in my electorate there are 60 of these assessors, there are 4,500 of them. They paid their registration to ABSA with some hope they'd get something back for $650. They paid insurance totalling over $1,000. This is 10,000 people hoping they'd have a future at least for a year. And now we've had this dribbled out with a cap of 15,000 assessments per week. It's a naked attempt to run this scheme through to the next election so that there's no criticism of Minister Garrett. I appeal to the minister. What are these new contracts? How do you decide the 5,000? Who are the other 1,800 flying in limbo in a holding pattern with ABSA who can never hope to get their money back? Will you reimburse them for the costs of training, insurance and accreditation, or is this money just lost in some bizarre pyramid scheme where first in got everything and everyone else was left damaged? Will there be an online booking tool? like this minister promised? Will response times through the phone call centre be improved, like this minister promised? Where are those $50 reward cards for every household, like this minister promised? When will the audits begin? 
Where are the refunds for those who have made huge investments and could not even recoup those costs? I appeal to this chamber on behalf of the thousands of sole operators in this country destroyed. This Help these people, Minister Garrett.